Good evening, fellow Ambersonians, and thanks for tuning in today. Again, I always consider it a privilege to come to you with very important information that concerns our revolution. I come to you today, unfortunately, with very bad news. Very, very bad news. Uh, in respect to what happened in Victoria with Sonora. But before I get into that, I'd like you to please go ahead and populate the platform as Ground Zero Wage. This is very important security information that I bring to you today. So please, as I will give a few minutes, let's uh, populate the platform why I bring to you that information. And I also want to formally say Good evening, good evening to Ambazonia, Ground Zero. And God bless you all for your tenacity, for standing in there and refusing to be subdued by the colonial forces of La Republic du Cameroon. So ladies and gentlemen, in Asia, in Europe, in the USA, wherever that you are joining in from, go ahead please and you hit your share button let's populate the platform and uh, we will right back with you to give you uh this important information let me turn on my own monitor to see who is joining me right here today all right <clears throat> So once more, good evening, good evening, fellow Ambazonians. Please, you go ahead. For those of you watching on the Facebook platform, please go ahead and you hit your share button. Let's get at least uh, 500 people here. Then I come on and uh, introduce the announcement that I bring uh, to you today. Uh, this is not going to be a long broadcast. It's going to be brief but uh, very, very, very important. I want to say hello to all our restoration forces out there, most especially FACO, FACO Restoration Forces. God bless you all, and God bless you for your resilience, for your bravery, and for your courage. We also want to uh, identify with our brothers, uh, in Bali, in Wum, all of you who have been going through some tough times, trials uh, recently, we want you to know, Ambazonians in the diaspora, they stand with you. No matter your uh, leanings in this struggle, all Ambazonians in the diaspora, they stand with you, they support you, and we will continue to do so. This interim government also, also stands with you and we will continue to do so until we grab the trophy, the trophy that is Boya. So please, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know this is a very, very important broadcast. Go ahead, hit your share button and let's populate this uh, Facebook platform. Uh, I know Ground Zero is waiting and expecting to hear what uh, we have to say. Uh, let's quicken that by you watching on the social media, hitting your share button for me to come on with that. Uh, Chris Azano, thank you for joining. Uh, my Becca, I can't read, I can't see very well, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm getting older and older. My eyes. Uh, I can barely read uh, some of this stuff here now. Bon Inga, thank you for joining. Metusela Enoch, good evening, sir. We are watching. Thank you. Funky Wanlashe, thank you. Thank you. Respect to all our restoration forces, he says. Peter Solonko, thank you, sir. Banky Thomas, thank you, sir. Favor, favor. Always here on this platform. Ambazonia Bobo. Good to see you, Bobo. Thank you for joining. Uh, Moa Piag, I see you. 
I see you and you can be nicer, okay? Uh, this is a very civil platform. We don't go by the ranting, rantings of social media and uh, frustrated activists. We don't run here, all right? Uh, Danson, Danson, thank you. Uh, Gideon Inquai, I see you, sir. Uh, at Succeed, thank you, sir, for joining. He says, share, 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 right. Mirabe in tall, always, always, always on this platform. God bless you, ma'am. Claude in gang, thank you for joining. Odette, yeah, yeah, I see you all the way from the Federal Republic of Germany. Uh, Amute Palakunia, one of those here all the times, too. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I see the numbers are rising right uh, really quick. Uh, go ahead and hit that share button. And before I go to the announcement proper uh, or the information proper, I want to pass out this warning specifically to those, our restoration forces, and the entire Amazonian community at, on ground zero at large. We have been informed that there is a ploy that is currently, currently going on. And the ploy goes uh, like this. The Republic of Cameroon is setting up uh, men to call your phone. They will call your phone and ask you to meet them at a particular location. They will give you a location at which to meet them. They will tell you you got a package either from America or from Europe. And you and they will ask you to go to that location or come to that location to pick up the package. And often when this is done, you are their target. Often when this is done, you are their target. You could be a civilian, you could be an armed restoration force. Uh, if you are a target, they come after you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me take this call from a very important man. Hello, Karim. Hello, Karim. Good. Do you know I'm live? I am doing excellent. Do you know I'm live? I am okay. I'm live. I am live right now. You have? Do you have something to pass uh, to pass to our audience? Yeah. Yes, that's uh, yeah. Oh, are they hearing me? Uh, so, uh, a, a little bit right now. Okay, listen, I do not have details of what happened in Wom. Can you brief uh, Ambazonians who are watching right now, please? It's an opportunity. Can you do that? Oh, well, all right. Yes, so tell, so tell, so tell, so tell Ambazonians what is, tell Ambazonians what is going on in Wom. All right, hang on, can you hear me? Yes, you are live. so bad, particularly the, the tribal uh, people of the Boro clan. Um, it, it looks like they have been targeted, but uh, we all know the conspiracy that is coming from uh, the cabal. When you say, wait, hold, hold on, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, our comrade on Ground Zero, Abdul Karim, uh, speaking uh, 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 by way of phone. Uh, when you say the Mbororo community is being targeted, who precisely do you think is targeting the Mbororo community, sir? Yeah, um, yeah, of course, um, there's, uh, there are a lot of conspirators. It's, it's, it's a targeting that is um, uh, uh, being um, plotted against uh, the people of Southern Cameroon. I think uh, they want to start some sort of religious um, conflict between Muslims and, and, and Christians. And uh, particularly, they are targeting a minority instead of Muslims. So, uh, my call is both um, to, the, to the Muslims and uh, the non-Muslims. We have to stay vigilant. We Southern Cameroonians have lived for ages without any um, conflict uh, amongst ourselves in terms of religion or 
uh, our race. You are very uh, correct. So if this is happening today, if this is happening today, we should read on the world. I want to call on Muslims to focus on um, their activities. I want to call on non-Muslims also not to be foiling um, a wrong information. We so, that, uh, uh, so uh, uh, Abdul, Abdul, what precisely uh, uh, yes. happened in Wum? Well, no, I don't have the details either because I'm actually on a journey, but I just picked up, um, you know, last week there was a situation where some houses were raised and uh, also some animals were killed. And today it said, um, I think a leader of a community was killed by purportedly the restoration forces, um, which um, I... I I, I, I don't believe and I don't know that information. What I know is that uh, the restoration forces don't go after innocent people. Correct. And uh, I'm just calling on my Muslim folks not to be um, allow themselves to be manipulated by anyone. I, it's, it's really sad. And also, I'm calling on um, the interim government to caution the RF not to be also not not also allow the wrong forces to use their names or their statue for wrongdoings. Have you, have, have you had time to speak with uh, anybody on the ground in WUM? Uh, not at all, not at all. I'm just, um, I'm reacting based on um, what I picked from social media. Like I said, I'm on a, I'm, I'm on a journey, right? so I've not had time to, to, to communicate. But what I want to say is that Southern Cameroonians should not allow themselves to be manipulated. Whether Muslims Correct. or non-Muslims, all this is my manipulation from the enemy. I think we should not allow ourselves. And I'm calling on uh, Secretary Chris to lies with um, the other arms of the IG to see into it. So uh, I, I think IG should investigate this matter so that we put a rest onto this um, uh, cacophony and all these things going on, which, especially in womb these days. Thank you. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to drop the call to continue with the live broadcast, and I will uh, make some more emphasis on the point that uh, you have made. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Have a great evening and, and more grace to your elbow. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. That was impromptu. It was never uh, It was never planned. But that was, our, again, our comrade on ground zero, uh, Abdul Karim, uh, calling in to throw in that word of caution, as uh, especially in regard to what is happening in womb, where Muslims, People in the Muslim community are being targeted. I understand that some have been killed and their property destroyed and their uh, cows confiscated. These things are not done by Ambazonian Restoration Forces. We should know that. We should know that. And I think that is the reason why Abdul Karim is saying the Muslim community anywhere in Ambazonia should not, should not allow themselves to be manipulated by CPDM agents in those communities and French Cameroon at large. Never, never before uh, had the Muslim community ever had any issues with the enlarged uh, 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 Ambazonian community. We have lived together for, for years, for years without any problem. There is no reason why at this moment there should be any of such problems. What is going on with the attack uh, on the Muslim communities in Wum and other parts of Ambazonia are uh, manipulations, manipulations coming from French Cameroon. We want, on behalf of the interim government, I want to urge the restoration forces wherever you are, where there exists a Muslim community, protect them. They are part of us, they are us, they are Ambazonians, they have gone through the same torment, the same frustrations, the same attack, the same uh, 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 colonization as every one of us. And so they deserve our protection, they deserve uh, everything we can do to protect them as we protect other Ambazonians. So, uh, Abdul, thank you, thank you for that uh, uh, phone call, uh, which was quite impromptu. But I was making an announcement, or I was making a warning before that phone call came in, and I was saying there is a plot that is being put, that has been put in place by French Cameroon. 
Uh, and what the plot does is they target their enemies and give make phone calls to them. When you receive that phone call, you will be told that you have a package coming either from Europe or from the USA. When you and then they will tell you the location of the package to go there and get the package. Now they do this to target other restoration forces or to target civilians whom they believe are so much entrenched in the revolution. So they are using it to target every enemy, whether be it amber or be it civilian. And when they call, they will ask you and tell, or tell you the location of the package, and they will ask you to call to go to go there and collect it. When you arrive there, you are picked up and taken to an unknown destination. This is happening again and again, especially in the northern zone. We have heard this. We have received information of people being picked up through these crooked means. Again, they call you, they place a phone call to you, and they tell you, you got a package from the USA, you got a package from Europe, you got a package from some other location. And when you reach out, when you go out, when you go out to uh, uh, receive the package, you are abducted and taken to an unknown location. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you live on ground zero and they call you and tell you you got a package from somewhere at a certain location, ask first of all, who sent the package? If you do not recognize or know who sent that package, do not leave your location. Do not go to uh, take any pack. Do not go out to take any package that you do not know who sent it or from where it is coming from. It's a trap to pick you up and take you to an unknown destination. Many will never return because nobody knows where they have been to or where they have been taken to. So this is a big warning for Ground Zero. They are doing this to individually, individually pick up their enemies. So if you are in Victoria, for, a, for instance, and they know that you are very active in the revolution. They just place a phone call to you and say, hey, uh, uh, Helen, you got a package coming from uh, maybe Douala or from uh, London or from uh, New York or Maryland. Uh, when do you want to come and get it? They tell you the location where the package is. And out, out of excitement, many people just go to, for the package without asking who sent it and where and even if they tell you who sends the package call the person ask for the person's number to call to confirm and be watchful they can give you a fake number to call and the person at the other end says yes i am your brother i'm your sister or your brother or your sister sent me the package to send to you make sure that any such information is confirmed from the from its original source or the origin the original person supposedly sending you the package this is very 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 important uh lots of people have been picked up through this way that is what they are doing now uh ladies and gentlemen i want to bring you this very important uh information which is the reason why i am here today i did not plan on being here today but before I go ahead, let me also announce this. On Wednesday, on Wednesday, I shall be having a very, very important interview with uh, Barista uh, Insult John. That will be on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Ambar time. Now, you will all recall that a few days ago, uh, Barista Insult John was live with uh, Paul Neelong and made some revelations concerning our leaders and our revolution. Uh, lots of uh, questions have been asked following that interview and I thought I should do a follow-up so that he can put more light to the things that uh, he, Barrister Jordan, sort raised uh, during that uh, outing with Paul, uh, Paul Nealon. So Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen, a very exclusive, very, very exclusive and grooming uh, uh, exchange with uh, Barrister John, and so it shows that will be live, of course. 
So, going back to what happened uh, in Sonora, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pity that out of frustration, La Republic du Cameroon is beginning to destroy what is left of the institutions that Ambazonia has. They started with the Cameroon Bank, they started with our military force, the mobile wing, the police, they started with the educational system, our legal system. In the course of this war, they have burnt down whole villages and whole towns. They thought by burning down whole villages and whole towns that we would surrender. They thought that through killing our people and burning some alive, that we will give up. Three years running, three years counting, we have not given up. We have not surrendered. The international community is putting severe pressure on the regime to sit on the dialogue or negotiation table to uh, resolve the conflict. And as we have heard in the past few days in their presentation before the diplomatic community in Yaoundé, La Republic du Cameroon has said it is an internal problem. And they categor categorically told the diplomatic community in Yaoundé that the outside world has nothing, nothing to do with the crisis, with the conflict, with the war that Paul Bier declared on us. In other words, the Bier regime is saying they will take care of it. No need for any dialogue. No need for any negotiations. And that takes me to one point. I see so many people talking about negotiation. Some uh, uh, communists have been sent out, letters being sent out about negotiation. Let's not waste our time. Ladies and gentlemen, La République du Cameroon has no dialogue or negotiation in their vocabulary. We have to fight this war and defeat La République, La République du Cameroon on the battlefield because, because violence is a language they know. That is what we have to do. We have to prosecute this war and beat La République du Cameroon one way or the other on that battlefront. They have no language for, for, for dialogue. They have no language for negotiation. That is what they told the diplomatic community in Yaoundé a few days ago. And so, having resolved, having resolved not to go into any negotiations or discussions, what La Republic of Cameroon is realizing with the pressure coming from the international community is that they cannot, they cannot win this war. The Americans have told them they cannot win this war against Ambazonia. And ladies and gentlemen, we are determined that we will deprive the French and the French Cameroon of any victory in our land. We will chase out every single French Cameroon terrorist soldier from our country. Especially, ladies and gentlemen, especially when they are beginning to set our property ablaze. You cannot sit here and tell me that what happened in Sonora was an accident. It wasn't an accident. It was a plan act. It was a plan act, a plan act from French Cameroon. Now, after burning down Sonora, after burning down Sonora, but you may be asking, let me get back to this. You may be asking, why would they do it? Why would they do it? They are doing it because they know we are about living. We are almost living. And they want to deprive us of the revenue that we will immediately need to rebuild our country, to rebuild Ambazonia. They can say anything about what happened to Sonora, why it happened and how it happened. But one thing is clear, ladies and gentlemen, it, when we win this war and take over our country, 
We need Sonora. We need the revenue coming out from there to rebuild Ambazonia. So any idea or any thought that the separatists in quote and the secessionists in quote did that, it's a ploy to uh, give us a bad name in order to hang us. La Republique du Cameroon has a pedigree. They have the leverage to burn down institutions. They burn down schools. We have seen it in videos. They burn down properties. They burn down hospitals. And now, the only thing that was left in Ambazonia after CDC is shut down, after Pamo is shut down, now was Sonora. And what have they done? They have burnt down Sonora. So that when they leave, they know they are leaving us with nothing. But that is not the most important thing, ladies and gentlemen. Life, life, life is important than property. What La Republic du Cameroon is planning to do now is to descend on FICO and Meme in the weeks ahead, the days and weeks ahead. There is going to be whipping. There is going to be ki killings, destruction of unimaginable proportions in Faco County and Meme County and Ambazonia at large. La Republic du Cameroon, they are going to release. They are releasing indeed. They are releasing their soldiers into Faco, into Meme. And so the immediate towns of Tico, Mutengene, of course, Victoria, Moya, Boya, Ekona, Moyuka, all the way, all the way to Kumba. This is an alert. This is an alert for you. We are encouraging every Ambazonian in this axis. Please, your safety has to come first today and going forward. La Republic of Cameroon is planning to discern on you, on the population. You will not have to have committed any crime or committed any crime before they pick you up or they shoot you and they kill you. They believe that they believe that you are responsible. You and Bazunas are responsible for the fire in Sonora. I do not understand. I do not understand how La Republic du Cameroon can shift the responsibility for that fire to innocent civilians, knowing that they have a military camp around that vicinity. They have security in Sonora, military security in Sonora. This thing happened is more than three days ago now, and they have not been they have not been able to pick one person or to tell what happened to that uh, 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 refinery. And all they are doing is discern or release their soldiers upon the territory. To harass, to arrest, and to kill Ambazonians. Fellow Ambazonians, if you live again in the FICO Meme axis, please, please, from today, your security should be number one. Your safety should be number one. There are a number of things you should not do. Going forward from today, perhaps until when there is a ceasefire. In this war, number one, we encourage you, do not go out and spend hours out in the night. Get back to your house as early as six, later seven o'clock every day. Because there are plain clothed military terrorist Cameroon, French Cameroon officers who are being deployed in all of these areas, including in the urban areas of like Bamenda, uh, Kumbo, and so on, to pick you and take you to unknown destinations. So please, do not go to parties and stay for long. If you have to go to any party, whether a marriage party, a birthday party, whatever celebration that it may be, do not stay out longer, any longer than 7 p.m. 
get back to your house. And when you go out, especially in the drinking parlors, please know who is seated next to you. Be mindful of the communication that you carry out with that person. Everything is going to be done to pick you up, to arrest you. And do not forget, one of the reasons for this is to revenge, uh, is, is, I mean, the reason is not only to revenge Sonora. The Republic needs money. They need money to prosecute this war, maybe to rebuke Sonora. When they pick you up, according to the information that we have gathered, when they pick you up, you will not pay less than 300,000 francs CFA to be released. Get me right? When they pick you up anywhere, you will not pay a ransom of less than 300,000 francs to the French Cameroon police or gendarmes or army before you are released. That is assuming if you get out of there in one piece. So please, when you go out for any party, any celebration, make sure, make sure you are back to your house on time. And when you are back to your house, when somebody knocks the door, do not open your door until you know who is knocking your door. Or uh, they may have to force break your door. That is fine. But if you have to open your door to anybody, know who is up, know who is knocking that door before you give access to the person. That is, this is very, very, very important. Again, French Cameroon has unleashed troops into Meme and Faco to kill, to arrest, to torture, and to abduct Ambazonians. Please, this is for your safety. We are warning you do not say you did not know. This information is very, very important. Pass it to your neighbors. Pass it to your friends. Pass it to your children, wherever they, that they may be. And for those of you who are in school, we are warning you, you, you will be picked up in school campuses. The French Cameroon Army will pick you up in school campuses. We are warning you, if you are in school, you better find your way home. Stay home. Stay home. French Cameroon troops are descending on Ambazonia, Meme and Faco, if you live in any of these cities, again, Tiko, Muyuka, Muyenge, I'm, I'm sorry, Tiko, uh, yeah, Muyenge is part of it, Meme, all of Faco and Meme, you live in any of the towns or cities in these counties, please, this security alert concerns you. You have to take special precautions very very special precautions for the safety of yourself and that of your family if it is important that you move out you do so before they come attacking or killing you again if you have to move out if you know of a safer location to move to do so before they come this information is very very authentic that is what is coming down to uh, Faco County and Meme County, I cannot emphasize this enough. I cannot, I cannot emphasize this enough. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, take this information around. Circulate it, let everybody in these counties uh, 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 learn about it. Now, this is also very important. We want to, we want to warn you the fire and the smoke out of Sonora is toxic and is poisonous. Do not drink any rain water. Again, uh, for inhabitants of Victoria, possibly up to Boya, Moyenge, Tiko, do not attempt to drink any rain water because of the toxic gas uh, emitted from that. Uh, uh, explode, uh, from, 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 from the explosion in Sonora. It is very unfortunate you have a government that says they own you, but in a situation like this, they cannot educate you on what you have to do 
with toxic, uh, with toxic uh, disposers in the atmosphere. But uh, thank God uh, they don't care about you. We care about you. And so we are encouraging everybody in Victoria, in Boya, in the Chico, in the Motengane. Please do not drink, do not drink rain water. It is not good. It is intoxicated with gas coming out of the flames in Sonora. So please stay away from rainwater. Do not drink it. Again, do not drink rainwater if you live in the Limbe. Now some people are asking what is going to be the consequence, the effect, the effect of this Sonora uh, incident. It is very clear, ladies and gentlemen, what is going to happen. Number one, in the days to come, the price of oil, gas, petrol, will high, will, uh, the, uh, I mean, will rise rapidly. The prices of oil will rise rapidly in all, in both Amazonia and in French Cameroon. Now, there will be a multiplication of effect. Prices of goods, price, prices of goods will also rise. So we are warning you, we are warning you, hard times, hard times lies ahead. Prices of goods will rise as a result of scarcity of petrol. We just want you to know this. There's nothing we can do, but, it's, but it is important that we bring this information to you. Uh, but thank God, thank God, we are at the last days. We are in the last days, the last days of this revolution. Uh, that, is what, that's what is, that is what is going to happen. Besides prices of gas going up and prices of food items uh, merchandise going up, there may, there may be starvation, famine, ladies and gentlemen, you will realize that the bulk of the food that we have in our market, even in French Cameroon, Douala in particular, comes from Ambazonia. But can you imagine if, if, if close to one million people are living in the bushes in farming communities like Munyenge, Munyoka, and so on, it means there will not be enough food supply in the months ahead. This is very important. There will not be enough food supply in the months ahead. We are bringing you this information so that you know what lies ahead. The days ahead are going to be hard, very, very hard, very, very difficult. But ladies and gentlemen, you know that this is war, and this is what war does. We have to go through this pain because we have no choice. We did not call for it. We did not ask for it. French Cameroon declared it on us. And what we are doing is defend ourselves defend ourselves and take back what rightly belongs to us. What French Cameroon has done to Sonora uh, is indicative that we are in the last days of this revolution, of this struggle, which is an encouragement to all of us. That should be an encouragement to all of us that if we persevere, if we stand in there, in a few months, we are going to be able to get to Boya, to lift up our flag and say, God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving us our own land. So ladies and gentlemen, our uh, we're encouraging everybody on ground zero to stay put. Do not be distracted. And we also learned that there are some guys who are going around to our restoration forces 
persuading them, promising them money to surrender, to lay down their arms, or to join their camp. My word goes out to every restoration group on ground zero. I want, to, I want you to know we are winning. Again, we are winning. Stay put. Continue to do the best that you have been doing. And in a few months to come, in a few months to come, we will have our country back. The Republic of Cameroon has no option but to sit on the table and negotiate, and negotiate with us. I want you to know, the international community is not buying one thing of all, of all that they are putting out there. The diplomatic community is not stupid. They are on the ground, and they know exactly the situation that obtains on the ground. And so they are not listening to French Cameroon. We have already been to the United Nations Security Council, and they know what is going on on the ground. America is aware of what is going on on the ground. So if the Republic of Cameroon thinks they can go and stand before diplomats and read a two or three page paper to convince them of what is going on and what they are doing, they are wasting their time. They are wasting their time. We are towards the end. We are almost, almost at the end of this struggle. My appeal again to you out there on Ground Zero is, please look out. Look out for your safety and your own security. Only you can protect yourself. Only you can save yourself. Stay out of night of, of bars. Stay out, stay away from parties that last late in the night. Stay away. Be in your home. Be in your home. And before I go, I'd like to make this uh, one more appeal for support for ABC, ladies and gentlemen. ABC is the only thing that Ambazonia has on ground zero. I'm appealing to you, please, uh, go to our, use our paper address, support at abcambatv.com to make a donation to support ABC. And if you live in Europe, you can also use the email address info at abcambatv.com to uh, make a donation through PayPal. The cash app address is also there. I don't have it uh, handy here, but uh, if somebody can put it on the screen. So please use the PayPal address, email address, uh, support at abcambatv.com to make a generous donation, let us save ABC. Or you can also use the email address info at ABC Amber TV, Amber TV .com to uh, make that donation. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I have not uh, forgotten of uh, anything that I was uh, supposed to uh, bring to you here. So please, again, we are appealing to you, our brothers and our sisters, especially in Fako, in Meme. These are terrible, there are, there are terrible days that lie ahead. Terrible days lie ahead. La Republic is coming with a hurricane that will abduct people, that will arrest people, and they will take ransoms to fund their war. We, we are told they will, take, they will be collecting at least 300000 from anybody they picked up. For the civilians they picked up. So you do not want to fall victim. Stay home. And if uh, your community is not secure, feel free to move to where you can find security. This is very, very important. Uh, thanks for listening. Again, I will be back here on the... Wednesday with Barrister uh, in Salt John for a very, very grooming, grooming uh, interview. God bless you all.